Hey there, and welcome back to Southern Food Junkie. Southern Food Junkie is all about sharing Southern inspired recipes. Today, we bring into you a pretty exciting little recipe here. This is hot chocolate bombs. So what is a hot chocolate bomb? Basically, a hot chocolate bomb is just a shell of chocolate that has hot cocoa powder on the inside, and it has marshmallows on the inside. You put it in your mug, and you pour hot milk over it. Once you pour that hot milk over it, it melts the outside chocolate and releases the cocoa and the marshmallows and it kind of, you know, I don't want to say it explodes, but it just kind of pops up and it's pretty neat. So let's get into making these. It's pretty, it's pretty easy to make. First thing you're going to have to have is a mold. So let's show you what it looks like. This is the mold that we're using today. It's a silicone mold. It's a half round sear mold. It's about three inches in diameter. They consider this a large sphere mold. And you can get these off of Amazon. I will drop a link down below where I got mine in case you're interested in using that link. We're using candy coating chocolate. If you can find melting chocolate, get that. It holds up a little bit more. It's not quite as brittle. You're going to need some mini marshmallows. You're also going to need some hot cocoa mix. There's a couple things we gotta talk about first before we get started. There's a couple different ways that you can melt the chocolate. Now this type of chocolate that I have has microwavable instructions, but I don't wanna do that because I want this to be able to sit beside my workstation where I'm gonna be making these. I want to be able to keep the chocolate still kinda, kinda warm. Once it starts cooling off, it'll start hardening up on you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a double bowler on my stove top. This is really the best way to melt chocolate if you're ever doing it. So what I'm gonna have is one pot and I'm gonna take a glass pot and set inside it. And inside the uh, metal pot, I'm gonna put a little bit of water. And that water will stay warm and it'll help to melt this chocolate. You wanna do this on a very low heat. If you get the chocolate hot, you're gonna scorch it. And you do not want that, it'll have a bitter taste. So let's show you what we got. Place your pot with the water in it on the stove on low heat. Add your glass bowl to the pot. Add your chocolate in a little bit at a time. If you're using melting chocolate, most of the time they come in little morsels, but this chocolate comes in big bars. So if you are using this type of chocolate, chop it up with a knife and make it in smaller pieces. I do this later in the video and it worked a lot better. Continue to stir it around as the chocolate melts. You don't want it to sit in one spot too long because you don't want it to burn. I added in about half my chocolate at the beginning, then I cut the rest of it up and added in about middle ways through. Continue to keep stirring it. Eventually it'll all melt down. All right, now that we have our chocolate melted and it's smooth, we're gonna move over to our prepping station where our mold is. We're gonna put our chocolate over here and we're gonna take a little brush and we're gonna brush this chocolate on the inside of the mold. To start off with, you just wanna do a little thin layer. What we're gonna do is do a thin layer and then we'll eventually put these in the freezer and then we'll come back and do a second layer. I also found out doing this that if you use about a tablespoon of chocolate and pour into the mold and then get your brush and brush it up, it works better and you kind of brush uh, away from the center as I'm doing here.
Okay, once you have done one coating of the chocolate inside the mold, you're gonna place that in the freezer for about five minutes, pull it back out, and you're gonna do a second coat. After you've done that, place it back in the freezer for about 15 or 30 minutes, and then we're gonna take them out of the mold. In order to get them out of the mold, just pull the edges apart like I'm doing here. That'll break it free around the edge. Then you're just gonna push on the back of it and it'll pop it right out. Now that we got our chocolate out of the molds, what we're gonna do is we got to fill the inside of it up. We're gonna use a pre-mix cocoa powder, just like your Swiss Miss, whatever, generic off the board. We're gonna put two tablespoons per sphere in there, per uh, mold, and then we're gonna put, I don't know, five or six marshmallows in there, just however many of fit. What we'll do after that, we have a pan that's preheating on the stove. We're gonna put that pan over here. We're gonna take one half and put it in that pan and melt the edge, and then we'll take the second half and do the same thing and stick them together. So let's get to it. Man, I gotta get me a second sip. Wow, that turned out great. These are so easy to make and they're so cool to watch. They're cool to watch them explode like that. You have to put, uh, at the end here, I use two cups of milk and you get it fairly hot. Once you put that hot, uh, hot milk on there, it melts the chocolate and the cocoa and the marshmallows just explode as you see on the video there. Just give it a little stir and it's ready to enjoy. All right, so if you like this video, check out this video right here. I know you'll like it too. Thanks for stopping by and checking us out. Southern Food Junkie is all about sharing Southern-inspired recipes. And remember, let's get food junk.